Potassium permanganate is a very strong oxidizer and this reaction produces a lot of heat. Also, potassium permanganate will stain most things that it comes into contact with. Proper safety equipment such as gloves and goggles are mandatory. First, about 10 grams of potassium permanganate was added to a suitable dish. Crystalline potassium permanganate was used. If a powdered form is used, the reaction is going to go much quicker. Then, about 5 milliliters of glycerin was added. Glycerin also goes by the name glycerol. The overall reaction is shown above. The potassium permanganate reacts with the glycerin to form potassium carbonate, manganese 3 oxide, carbon dioxide, and water. This reaction is a redox reaction, which is short for reduction oxidation. In short, reduction is the acceptance of electrons, and oxidization is the donation of electrons. And for a redox reaction to occur, one chemical must be donating electrons while the other is accepting. In our case, the potassium permanganate is receiving the electrons, and the glycerin is donating them. So logically, if the potassium permanganate is receiving electrons, it's getting reduced, and if the glycerin is donating electrons, it's getting oxidized. Because of potassium permanganate's strong desire to accept electrons, i.e. get reduced, it is referred to as an oxidizing agent. Because in order for it to be receiving electrons, it must mean that another molecule is donating one, i.e. getting oxidized. If you choose to carry out this reaction, be aware that the heat produced can easily cause glass to crack. Carry out the reaction in something that can withstand a lot of heat. For the rest of the video, I'm going to include the original audio so you can hear the crackling that the reaction makes.